Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do a few simple HTML tags and uh, create a very simple web page. In previous videos uh, I have shown you how to create a simple web page inside uh, Notepad++. I showed you how to open it in a browser and um, how to work with it to edit it and uh, if you forget any of that please go back and watch those videos first. But today I, I would like to teach you a little bit more. I would like to add more tags here, show show you a few basic tags, and uh, we'll um, take it from there. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to have a little bit more text here, so I'm just going to add. Um, so I have hello, hello there. How are you doing today? I am learning website design coding using HTML language alright so I'm gonna go here click here to save this I would like to go back to my page to the browser and refresh the browser so I can see that here excellent now we're gonna go back to the code I would like to show the first and simplest thing to work with which is making something bold I would like to make this bold. In order to do that, you need to open a tag here called B and also close it right after the word. So B stands for bold and it will begin bolding the uh, phrase or word from wherever you put it in and it will stop working uh, where you put the forward slash B. So we have the opening tag closing tag. I'm going to save the document, refresh it here, and as you see HTML is bolded. Alright, let's try another one. I would like to make the word today italics. As you may have guessed, the code for it is letter I. So I start the tag I right before the word today and I close it right after with a forward slash. Again we're gonna save and we come here and refresh the browser and you see the word today is italics now. Alright let's do more. Okay, next is to make um, a word or a phrase underlined. So here uh, I have website design. I would like to make that un uh, underlined. The code is very simple. It's letter U. I have the whole phrase here. So I'm going to go to the end of the phrase and put for the slash U. Save the document. Refresh. And there you have it website design phrase is highlighted. We can also combine these codes which is called nesting. You gotta be careful with nesting uh, you can only do it to a few codes. For instance these three codes we learned today. In order to nest codes you need to open them and close them outside of each other. For instance if I want this phrase to to be underlined and also bold I can start putting B here, but I have to close it at the end. So, as you see, U is closed first, which is inside, and then B is going outside. It doesn't matter which one you do first, but whatever you're doing, you have to go outside from both sides so from both sides so I have B and closing B at the end I have U which is closer to the phrase and it closes closer uh, let's save it and preview so there you have it this is bold and underlined um, let's do a couple more things you can also create paragraphs uh, all you need to do is to put the code P and this is a short paragraph there you go and you have to close it with P 
Uh, very simple, straightforward English. P stands for paragraph. We save this one and refresh. So paragraphs um, basically are sentences with separated spacing before and after. We can also create headings. Uh, you don't have to do it right after. You can do anywhere in the document as long as you stay within the body tags. So I'm going to go before paragraph and I'm just going to go create a very large size heading which is called H1 and I'm going to type this is a large heading. We're going to close it with H1. Save the document, refresh, and there you have it. We do have different sizes for headings. We have H1 to H6, H1 being the largest and H6 to be the smallest heading. Um, let's try another heading. I'm going to go after the paragraph here and then create my heading 2 here. So heading 2, I'm going to say this is a heading 2 example. Alright, so I have typed my closing tag as well. Let's save and preview. Yeah, you see the size of this one is quite smaller than H1. So um, your exercise or practice would be to create H3, 4, 5, 6, all of them put back to back and then compare the sizes. As you see, headings um, are bolded. They also have a spacing before and after. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you for watching.